I was going to make some breakfast and let Maru sit at the table in the meantime, but... It seems someone beat us to it. Who did this? Grandpa? Hello. A familiar voice suddenly speaks up behind us. I immediately freeze and pale a little. Hey, what are you doing sneaking up behind Biu and scaring her? But I only said hello. Distraction, distraction... Oh, of course, the table. Did Grandpa prepare breakfast today? He asked me to do it. My eyes slightly widen. He what? How could you do it without knowing, without... Without... I can't bring myself to continue and quickly take a seat at the table. I see. Thank you, Liu Fan. Oh, is that my name? My reply seems to be stuck in my throat, so I just nod instead. Liu Fan, go apologize to Biu now. But I... It's fine, Maru. There's no reason for him to apologize. Of course there is. He must have hurt you really bad if you look this sad. It's nothing. It's really nothing. I take a deep breath and show them my most reassuring smile. I'm sorry, I just remembered something bad. It's nothing, really. Don't feel bad about it. Let's eat breakfast. You're really feeling fine? Yes, really. I quickly point at one of the dishes at the table. Oh, look, Maru. The food is prepared really well. Why don't you try some of that? It's sweet, but I think you'll like it. Mm hmm? Which one? Putting some on his plate for him, he soon starts eating without any objections. Distracting Maru with nice food seems to work well. I glance back at Liu Fan. It really is amazing he could do these things after just a day. He didn't even make a mistake. I wonder if Grandpa thought him, or maybe he wrote down the recipe somewhere. Biu! Eat! I look up to see that Grandpa has joined us at the table. When did that happen? Next time, you will get up earlier to make breakfast. I don't know how, but Liu Fan somehow managed to do it this time. Huh. Yes, Grandpa. Maru looks like he wants to say something, so I show him some cutely cut apples next. It's convenient that every dish is new to him at times like these. Uh, it really was no problem, sir. I can make breakfast if she has no time. What? No! That girl should learn how to be a proper... Grandpa pauses as he takes a bite from the fish Liu Fan prepared. Hmm, actually, I wouldn't mind if you prepared breakfast from now on. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Stop looking like you've ascended to heaven. Pouting, I take another bite and try not to cry. It really is very good. Hmm. Grandpa is the sword Liu Fan still carries with him. I was hoping you'd put it away while you were cooking, but no such luck. That is the sacred sword of this shrine. They say the god Senri himself used it, and that it contained some of his powers. You seem careful enough, but you can't keep it, and it's not a toy to drag around. I I'm sorry, sir. I just... I feel like this is too important to let go. You bet it is. In another way, sir, I think it might be related to something important I had to do before I lost my memories. If only I knew what. Huh. So I keep it a little longer, then. But if I discover even one scratch, I will guard it with my life, sir. You don't have to worry so much. Grandpa's eyesight isn't what it used to be. Still, before he left, Lufan also said he was looking into something. It seemed important at the time. Could it be the same thing? Hey, Biu, try this one too. It's really nice. Maru holds out a piece of apple to me. I smile and take a bite from the piece in his hand, ignoring the infuriated look Grandpa is giving me. It's sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, say, since I didn't get to help you with breakfast, is there anything else I can do for you? Oh, right. Well, why don't you help me with the groceries then? We have a few guests and you're, you're staying as well now, so we need to stock up on some things. Biu! You do not need this man's help to the groceries. I'm sorry, my voice is getting a bit weird now. But, Grandpa, I wanted to show him around the village, too. There is no need. The sooner he knows his way around the village and the people living here, the sooner he can manage on his own. Right? That means he leaves sooner, doesn't it? Yes, Grandpa. Fine, you may go then. Come on, Maru, let's go. Take Maru's hand and lead him the right way. 
That's better this way. I I never did do the groceries alone before. Yeah, you probably did them with Lufan, didn't you? I quickly explained what doing groceries meant exactly meant to Maru. And soon we were walking through the village bustling with life, buying various supplies. Like me, many people are going around to get some groceries and simply to take a look at the merchant's wares. Maru follows behind me at first, but soon catches up and walks next to me. He seems a little bit distracted, maybe because of the curious looks people are giving him. Maru doesn't exactly look normal. Then again, he seems more concerned with... Our hands? I looked down at my hand, which is still holding his. Is he embarrassed? A little amused, I let it go. Is something wrong? Uh... Um... Did I do something wrong? No. Then... Um... Am I a bother to you and your family? Why the sudden... Oh, because of what Grandpa said and what I told him. He nods. No, no, don't take it seriously. I just said that so Grandpa will let you go with me. So you don't mind hanging out with me? Nah, I don't mind it. I invited you, didn't I? Ah, uh, that's good. I was just a little worried. He was worried? Hey, what's this? Is this food too? Maru walks on merrily, tugging me along to one of the market stands. Worried? I follow, still a bit surprised. Oh, what's this? Look, look, Biu, it has the face of a monster! I look at the fruit Maru's pointing out. It looks... I can't blame, I can't blame Maru for saying it looks like that. Nature can do scary things sometimes. Not everyone is born perfect, but how can you say it looks like a monster? Maybe monsters are handsome and we just never knew. <laughs> no way. They have to be butt ugly. You sure? Yep. Weird. How does Maru know so much about monster lore anyway? Maybe Grandpa spouted some nonsense to him when I wasn't paying attention. He looks at the fruit with a smile. It seems Maru is easy to amuse, but it's kind of contagious. Well then, let's buy it. Really? I pay the merchant and hand the fruit to Maru. <laughs> that cheered me up a little bit too. Hey Maru, this way. I'll show you something nice since you seem to like lore. Walking down the street, we end up on a broader road. Sometimes festivals are held here, but what I wanted to show Maru was... You were right. Monsters are but ugly. <laughs> but what's this statue about? And what's with that tiger? Did the monster annoy him? Ah, right. Your outfit reminded me of the tiger story, too. They say there were once monsters hiding among the people in this village. Eh? But they're so ugly. How did they fool anyone? Maybe they wore masks. Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Continue. Anyway, they did all kinds of evil things in the village, making the people suffer. One day, a mighty white tiger appeared and uncovered one of those monsters. He went on and fought them all until none were left. And since then, he has been protecting the village from evil beings like that. But people lost trace of him at one point. Perhaps he protects the village from the outside so no monster can ever enter it again. So, this statue is to remember his good deeds. Yes, we want to remember. Being forgotten isn't nice after all. What's wrong? No, I... I just have a bit of a headache. Did you remember something about yourself? Yeah. Really? You're amazing! I've never seen anyone recover many of their memories, and never this fast. But that's very good, so why not be happy? You might remember even more later on. I'm not sure what to think of it. What do you mean? Well, it doesn't matter now. Come on, Biu, we have a lot of grocery shopping left to do. Taking my hand, he escorts me through the busy street as merrily as before. I wonder what's wrong. There we go. Thanks for helping me today. N no problem. Is something wrong? It's just this place. It's giving me goosebumps. My home scares you. Why, is it because of the mist? Well, the mist is creepy too, but... This place is even worse. It's like there's something below here. Below? Brr, yes. Maybe he saw a silhouette in the dark and became afraid. It's pretty late now and he seems like the type who'd be, af who'd be afraid of the dark. I smile amused. Maru, wanna know a little trick? Hmm? A trick? 
Yeah, they say that if you go to bed on time, monsters will leave you alone. R really? Do the blankets function as some kind of magical barrier? Sadly not, but the monsters only bother you if you're awake. So you have to go to sleep before they wake up. Which means around this time. So there are, don't, there are monsters below your house. Who knows? I'm going to bed now. Smart move. I'm sure you'll be safe, Maru. Don't go to bed too late either, be you. I won't. Good night. I smiled a little to myself and turned back to the dinner table. We put the groceries on there when we came back, since Maru doesn't know where everything belongs anyway. Silently, I start putting groceries away. It doesn't take long for me to clean up until one wooden box remains, but this is a problem. Maru was surprisingly strong for his boat, so I made him carry the heavy box with liquor Grandpa likes to drink. I just forgot about asking him to put it away from me. I lift the box with both hands and start taking slow steps towards the kitchen. After some time, I finally managed to get there and put the box down on the table. Now, I have to place it on the plank above me. If only someone could... Clenching my fists, I shake my head. No. I step on a nearby chair and grab the box again. Pouring all my strength into lifting, it slowly but surely rises from the table. When do I learn? I shouldn't need others to do this for me. Yes, it's hard. It's scary. But everyone is gone. Just don't think about it. Do it yourself. Move on without looking back and don't look for the people you know. Because now, everyone is gone. I did it. I blink my eyes trying to clear them. Uh, no! I can't... But then, someone catches me from behind. Biu, are you alright? You should have asked someone for help. I wouldn't have minded. But he's... He's not the friend I knew... I once knew anymore. N no, I can't do that. I, I just... I should do this on my own. What? Don't be silly. When things get hard, you can always ask me for help. L Liu... Tears I blinked away began clouding my view again. I can't help it. Ah! Uh, I stand back up. I'm sorry if I made you upset again. I guess you must have really hated me in the past. Clearing up my face with my sleeve. I smile a bit. No. I liked you. That was the problem. You dropped your sword. Eh? Oh! Oh no! If he finds out... Lee Fun quickly picks up the sword and checks it for scratches. I'll keep it a secret under one condition. Um, yes? Don't keep any more secrets from me in the future. I walk away, heading towards the sacred room in our shrine. If Liu Fan isn't able to do his important research, I'll just have to do it for him. I want to have my friend back. I never went in this room much, because we only use it on special occasions to, st and to store the sacred sword. Even then, I'm shocked at the condition I find it in. All this mist. I'm sure it was never this bad before. The flow of the mist, it seems to be heading outside of the room. Odd. As long as I can remember, the mist in our village always roamed into every direction and remained in one place. Why is the mist moving away from this room? And where is this stream leading to? I gasp in realization. Oh my god. This place must be very near the source of the mist. A little bit excited, I carefully move into the room and study its direction. It doesn't take me long to figure out where it's coming from. It's coming from below the sword stand. Dear gods, Liu. I quickly make my way over to the sword stand. It's a wooden stand, pretty big and heavy, but I think I can move it aside if I try. <sighs> Too much heavy stuff for one day. <sighs> Still out of breath, I look at the spot I move the stand away from. Whoa, there's a deep hole here. Whoa, whoa, there's even light coming from below. I blink. From below? Didn't Maru mention something about this? Don't tell me he was talking about this. The hole leads to a deep tunnel. I'm a little bit afraid of what's down there, but I'm not going to turn away now. I will get to the bottom of this in every 
away. Determined, I ran on out the room. A little while later, I turned with a long piece of rope and started tying it to the sword stand. There. That should do it. Taking a deep breath, I lower myself down the strange hole. Hopefully, I'm not descending to my own demise here. 